Right, hello my friends. I thought I'd actually make a video for uh, change. So obviously that means anybody that sees this come up in their sub box is going to immediately unsubscribe. So whatever. So this is a first impressions of Astral Chain, one of the many Switch exclusives. One of the ones that's got a uh, critical acclaim. Uh, I think it's made by Platinum Games. So it's got the uh, Platinum Games typical stuff of over the top combat and uh, bosses, which yeah are just all over the place and uh, stuff like that it's pretty good i've i've enjoyed the uh, five hours i've put into it so far um this is actually the like quite early in the story i'm replaying one of the stages to show off things without um any real uh, spoilers because there's a major spoiler at the very end of this as well as um where i am and am in the story currently there's been a bit of a twist so yeah, it's uh, pretty good. The, the gameplay is obviously split up from into like the spectacle fighter hack and slashy stuff, and um, like investigating. So the first part of this is all investigating. So you get um, so you play as one of two characters. You either play as the girl, which you can choose whatever she's called, and. Um, your brother, which is that character there, Akira. Um, yeah, dep depending, depending on who you uh, choose, the other one will be v fully voiced. So if you play as the bloke, the, the female will be fully voiced, while I've chosen the female and he's fully voiced. So, yeah, a bit, bit of a difference. I'm not sure what the uh, female character actually sounds like, though. Bit of a, bit of a mute. It's one with giant hands, so you have to go around and collect all these like clues. Some of it's a little bit boring, but um, yeah, it's it's quite good. Uh, right, usually you have to go and talk to people. What do you think? All this look like something you can handle? Yeah, so this is your first mission, like she just said, and this is another guy in your squad. It might be bigger than we thought. That's what she said. Do do do. So yeah, this is. I haven't really got too many complaints about this game, other than some of the um, some of the camera angles are a bit weird. There's a later mission where you have to chase after a guy, and um, basically with your with your legion, which is what this is called, it helps you in combat. You can like circle around people with that, and it like ties them up. But you're running at the same speed as this guy, and you send out your legion, and you uh, control it with the right stick, and it will occasionally just clash into things, and it slows you down. So I think some of the things like that are a bit, um, yeah, it's not it's not as tight as it could be, and some of the some of the contact uh, combat, sorry, is a bit frantic. Like, it gives you all these fantastic mechanics, like, uh, one of the counter-attacks is if you, um, I can't even think of the word. If an enemy charges at you, you can, like, put your legion across like that, and they'll run into the chain, and then you stop them, and then you, like, throw them back. It's, it's really cool, so I'll try and show you that in a minute. There is a boss fight after. There is a boss fight after here. Uh, I think you can listen in on these guys if you... Yeah, here we go. He'll say, oh, you can send your legion out. Oh, also, people that don't have this power, as it were, the legion power, they can't actually hear the, hear your, um... Or can't actually see your legion. Because everyone's like, oh, how did you do that? <laughs> and stuff like that. It's pretty funny. Keep your voice down. Keep your voice down. Yeah. After, there's, there's another element of this game other than the combat and um you basically go around a police station it's got all like the facilities it's a bit more of like a military base than a police station and uh let's talk them out yeah in the, in the next one in the next case as it were that's what they call uh chapters you, you have to do so many things to uh, actually progress through this thing. Giant hands. That's right. I know 
Also, there is, there is two gameplay modes. I think one of the, a journalist got in hot water about about it, saying the game was like too easy and you didn't get rewarded for it. There's like two different play styles. Um, why did the camera? There we go. Yeah. And um, so there's like PT standard, which is like platinum something or other game standard, where it judges every aspect of your combat, like how, if you fail dodges and just hit midair and stuff like that and um you get graded on it at the end and um if you do the default game mode you don't actually get graded on anything you just you know progress through the game and you get infinite like lives and stuff and the, the journalist pay, played through that mode i'm i am actually playing through uh on pt standard there we go we got an a rank which you know i am being i am trying to describe this game i was doing it Find tracks. Use your legion to look around that giant handbrake. Something ought to turn up. Also, I do um, I do struggle with the the buttons on Nintendo Switch because I can't actually I haven't actually been playing it that often. Even though I have like a load of games and I still haven't played like any of them. I think the only game I've really put time into is um, Hyrule Warriors, and then eventually that got a bit boring. So yeah, here we are with our brother. He gets a legion as well. The corruption's really bad around yeah, so the it, it takes a little while getting used to uh, the combat, obviously running around doing like twin stick shooting stuff. So yeah, so the environment's pretty big as well in the uh, next area. It's, um, it's vastly different. It's like a slum town. I don't think I have access to it. Oh no, I do. I was going to say, I don't think you have access to every single um, element of combat just yet. Because at the start of the next thing, it shows you how to do a load of different things. So, like, that's one of them. You can go gaps with the chain jump, as it were. Oh yeah, I forgot you can crouch. They put crouch and sprint on the same button. Like, how stupid is that? What is it? Sonic the Hedgehog? So we'll, we're coming up to a bit of combat here as well. Um, it's not a main boss. I mean, the end of this chapter is absolutely whack. It's pretty pretty funny. Do, do, do. Oh, well, another, another thing I don't really like is the game says, right, there's loads of customization and stuff. You, it's one of the elements of the police station. You can... Uh, oh, it's asking me to do something there. Oh, I think I need a different... I need something else there. Yeah, um... Yeah, it's like, it says you can customise your character and stuff like, change your character's hair colour and it doesn't give you any other options for changing the colour. Which is a bit stupid. Yeah, so coming up to a bit of combat here. Um, I should mention I'm not very good at this game. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, even even though I'm not very good, I'm I do, do enjoy it. It's got you know all the stuff like do perfect dodges and stuff like that. Hey, look at its hands. That's gotta be the one we're after. Shit. Oh no, I swore that's an instant demonetization. Yeah, your, your legion as well will attack on its own, but you can like send it in, and it's on this like little gauge which you're probably seeing on the screen, and if you. Uh, if it runs out, you can't can't use it. The way the way the game first describes it is if like the gauge runs out, your legion will go berserk and will like fight you. But that doesn't actually happen, which is uh, yeah, that that doesn't happen. Just waiting for him to do a uh, attack so I can show you the counter. I don't even know what happened there. So I'll try and show you wrapping an en wrapping an enemy up. Um, if it'll let me. Ooh, he's a bit too far away. There we go. So you can wrap him up and you do like critical damage. And when you flash blue, um, you can call out your legion 
and he'll uh, do like more damage or something. I'm not I'm not sure if it says it's like critical damage or if it's like a counter and they've become invincible for a little while. Oh, I meant to finish him off and and it didn't didn't work. S plus. I mean, I I was rubbish there. So yeah, it covers everything like sloppy strikes. I don't know what naked eye is. Limiter expert. That means don't. Um, your little gauge that didn't deplete at all. Chain bind, backstab, so hits in the back. Yeah, so it's it's pretty pretty cool with that. Well, we got the chimera. But we were well, we got the chimera. Blah blah blah. Maybe Dad was right. This isn't easy. I mean, this is literally your first proper job as a member of this squad. It's like, oh, it's gonna, yeah. Alicia. Roger. We're heading to the gate now. It's quite funny as well. I think this is like set in Tokyo in like 2078 or something. And um Hold up. We can't leave that gate wide open. Let's try it out. Yeah, 2078 and the th <laughs> and the thing is like it's like the last bastion of uh, human human defense. So you so you got people from all cultures. There's like a character later on called Marine, I think it is, which sounds literally the same as Ritsu okay. from k -On. and uh, I only know that because that's my new favourite character. <laughs> Ritsu, that is, not the uh, not the clown from this game. And uh, yeah, oh, there, are, there are actually some other cool features in this game, like if you attack public property you lose points, like um, up there it's got three hearts out of three and then the thing next to it you lose those. I can't even remember what they're called because I uh, don't use them that often. And there's, yeah, there's all these um, other little like features I want to say in the game which you can uh, go and discover. Like down here, there's like a criminal, I think. Yeah, this guy. And you have to like wrap him up in chains. Yeah, 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 it's me. After listening to him. Yeah, hold up, hold up, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Uh, no, don't hang up, idiot. I'll just. Until they oh, leave. Yeah, hey. That's right. Oh, how's work treating you, huh? You don't say. Hey, I know you're busy, but... <laughs> I know you're busy, the world's only in peril, but that guy over there... I don't know why it's telling me this again, because I've already done this, to actually progress the story. One o'clock, warehouse number three. You're late, you're dead. Do, do, do. So yeah, you get stuff like this. Um, another one is like these mini games of these like little kids and you have to guess which okay, ones. It's like a, a quiz basically. Yeah, and obviously you can do this to criminal scum. I don't think you can do it on just normal civvies. It, it just doesn't, um, it doesn't work. Nice arrest. Oh, that, actually that reminds me, there's, um, because obviously we're all in lockdown, or were in lockdown, as it were, I, I'm still not back at work. But, um, I've been watching, like, quiz shows and people say, good answer, it's like, no. How can it be a good answer? It's either the right answer or it's the wrong answer. Good answer, fuck my ass. Just... You know, absolute nonsense. Oh, shit. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Obviously, I can't get through there until I've got a different, um... Different feature. So, yeah, you lose lose points there. For attacking public property. How dare I? So, I'll go on to the next combat sequence and I'll, I'll uh, probably wrap this one up. So, yeah, if you, uh, like this game then obviously it is available only on Nintendo Switch which there is probably one positive of this being a Nintendo Switch exclusive is that um, controlling the cam if this was on like PS4 they would have controlling the camera on like the stupid motion controls which you know yeah just um that, that's like the one thing I really hate about 
Persona 5 Royale. There's like a mini game which is actually really helpful to your combat and stuff like that. It um, powers up the baton pass, as it were, and it and it's a darts mini game, right? And you and um, you used to like select a bit, and then you have to throw the darts by moving the motion controls. I don't think I've ever hated a mini game in a game so much in my life. Other than that, it's a pretty good game. Other than you know the faults with the story, which, oh well. Don't know why I'm going about Persona 5 now, but... Just thought I should tell somebody. It's, it's rather lonely here. Oh, fire, how original. Stopping me from doing my thing. Yeah, you get these talking vending machines as well. Buy and sell, you can sell stuff to, to vending machines. Uh, I, I won't buy anything. It, it basically, it just give you like buffs and stuff like the medicine, which is uh, pretty cool. Also, you get three different weapons. One of them's locked behind a thing. It's like a this is sort of like a great sword. It's actually part of your baton. You have to uh, upgrade it at the upgrade shop. And then another, the other one is a gun, which it gives you from the very start of the game. Yeah, I. It, and they say, oh yeah, it's good for air targets, and yeah, there's like no air targets so far. So yeah, that's a bit, bit strange. And it's not it's not like a gun in the traditional sense of you like aiming and shooting. It's it's like a moveset, basically. You moved your hand. Yeah, see, that's um, an example of these... Uh, other, the police officers are uh, not knowing what you're doing, basically. Hang on, have I got? I have. Okay, so I can actually show you something else. There's a. I haven't used this too much, but you you do actually get new legions in the game. It's a bit of a spoiler. Sorry, but um, yeah. So you get different different legions, and you can uh. They have like different purposes, so I've only unlocked two at the moment. But this one you can actually aim. They got like all special abilities. And you can focus and fire. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. And the uh, sword one has like this slashing thing, which is kind of awkward and not gonna lie. It's uh yeah, what, one of the uh, boss fights involves you like cutting all these wires, but you have to do it in slow motion. It's like really, really strange. Like, just it's just like the cutting like that is um, angling it is the most awkward bit. But other than that, it's it's quite a cool uh, mechanic. You can do like counter attacks and stuff with it, and they're unbelievably strong. So, so yeah, this bloke's got like the bow. Thing here as well. Oh, it is Akira, he just ran off in front, that's why. So yeah, there's a there's an example of your Legion doing the uh, super strike thingy. Sorry if it's uh, not the best commentary, I'm getting used to actually making videos again. Do 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 now let's go and vandalise some stores and then get the police department to pay for it all. Do -do -do. Actually one, one thing I do want to say is um, the, the reason why this is taking so long to come out is that the last four or five days the uh, I, I don't know what people are doing in my neighbourhood but for some reason there's like constant chainsawing for no bloody reason. There's like no trees around where I live and yet, you know, everybody seems to want to demolish their house and cut up all the wood in there. Let's see, there's a there's another good example. You can also do it on like um, perfect parries, but you know, that that's not my style of not sorry, not parries, dodges. But you know, I'm not that's not my style of play. I prefer to just, you know, do nothing. Very aggressive, that's why I never get any, uh... 
don't get any uh, decent grades in this. It's funny you get like really low grades and then you <laughs> and then you do one boss fight and you get like an S rank. Sorry, not just an S rank, an S plus rank. I mean that's that's got to be worth something. Here comes more. <laughs> Yeah, so all these, uh, these things are called chimeras, I forgot to mention that. Oh. Oh, you get these finishing moves as well, like, and do you, uh, steal the code from these, uh... Okay, so I can attack public property, but, you know, civilian in the way, no, they, they've got no collision. How, how dare they? Do, do, do. Yeah, so just like a finishing move. And then you get... I didn't get anything from that. <laughs> Unless it is displayed first. 48 seconds. Yeah, when you do this the first time around, because obviously I've got upgraded stuff, I got like a C or something. This doesn't look good, but there may be more... Sur I'll stay here with them. You go check the alleys and see if anyone else ran that way. Yeah, so coming up to a bit of a major plot point. So I'm going to leave this one here and um, say if you enjoyed this video, don't get, forget to leave a like. Um, that's, that's all I ask from my loyal subjects because I obviously don't monetize these videos. So um, yeah, if you like this, just give it a like um, and let me know if you want to see any more videos in the style or whatever um yeah obviously trying to get back into uh, making videos so um tomorrow there might be a review of a re-review of yukimura den which is the sengoku basra spin-off i said i'd do it so um and that game needs a good thrashing so um thank you very much for watching if you did and i will see you soon Bye bye